What is grief? If not, figure reviews persevering. Doesn't make sense. I tried. Welcome, everybody, to a lengthy debate about the ship of Theseus, a.k.a. my figure review of the Captain America Builder figure, except it's not a figure, it's a set of wings, but still. Disney Plus Marvel Legends Wave, the Vision figure from WandaVision. Uh, this is a figure, of course, of the resurrected, question mark, uh, original Vision uh, body. If you're watching this, chances are you've already seen the show, so spoilers, obviously. But uh, it's a figure based on that. He has got a creased top, but I'll forgive it. <laughs> and the caption says... Harnessing the power of density manipulation, like Crispin Glover, with computer precision, Vision is a hero who defines the very laws of nature. Except it would say that if it weren't for the spelling error. Harnessing the power of density manipulation with computer precision, Vision is a hero, whoa, defies the very laws of nature. US agents incorrect paint, and now this. Marvel Legends, are you okay, hon? Are you okay? I mean, I at first I had issues with the fact you've gone back to using unremovable plastic trays in the packaging instead of the stuff you started doing a couple of years ago where the trays were separate so you could recycle everything much easier uh, with less risk of slicing your fingers open. Now I'm just worried that maybe, like, you've, you've been taking something or not taking something uh, or at least have deleted spell checker. Point is, we are going to review The Vision next in our figure wave review. Here we go, but which one's the real vision? Well, I mean, technically both. This is the Infinity War vision figure um, from the Toys R Us 2-pack with Scarlet Witch or Wanda. Um, it's pretty, 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 and very pretty. Um, what we have with the white vision figure, or the vision figure, is essentially the same toy. I mean, it has the same hands, uh, it's got the sparesies, two fisticles. Uh, it's got the clear material that was used for the Civil War vision figure, which I can't take down because it's strapped into a flight pose on a, on a, on a rig on my shelf. Uh, and is backlit by yellow light, so when the yellow lights are on, he, he's transparent. Uh, so the cape has taken that, the same sort of plastic. It's transparent. That ass, though. Uh, it is fixed very securely into the back, which is handy, but do be careful when getting him out of the box. Um, the paint is the most unusual thing on this one. So let's try and sort of give the translucent uh, effect over his whole body while it being a solid plastic. It's sort of like the colours fade in and out around the boots and the 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 wrist uh, mounts at the gauntlets as they were. Um, standard articulation, swivel joints on the ankle, nothing at the calf, double knee joint, thigh joint, crotch, waist swivel, rib crunch, although quite a severe one. You can see it on both of them. It's really, really obvious with the rib crunches. Um, shoulders. Upper arms, double joint elbow, wrists that can uh, do their thing and pop out. And also the heed. Let's take a look at his heed, shall we? At his babby's yed. It's the same sculpt as the other one, so it's, it's very clearly a Paul Bettany. Uh, the eyes are the interesting thing on this bad boy. If I can get... Oh, it's hard for him to focus. It's hard for the camera to find him. His features are just so blank. There we go. So, slightly off kilter right pupil, but as you can see, like the pupils are painted in. He's got the blue mindstone effect there, but it's a little, it's a little dribbly, unfortunately. So, paint-wise, not the greatest. Um. Compared to his OG counterpart, if the camera will focus on either of them, like it's not bad, and I think I think he looks better, weirdly, with another vision. Like when you can see them both, you can sort of tell what it is. But I think I don't know. I feel like he needed a metallic finish, maybe. Um. 
he's made of a very soft plastic compared to the original. So maybe he should have either been completely transparent or he should have been metallic. Um, the, the box image does a great job at that. Like if you see the box image, it's a white cosy, but he's got this sort of metal um, sheen to him. And I feel like the figure's missing that, man. Because when you put him next to a vision, a vision figure, it just doesn't really, doesn't really click, does he? It's a shame. I, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't dislike it. It's just a bit, eh, overall. Um, but then again, when he's displayed with the Scarlet Witch, maybe I'll feel different. Who knows? But yeah, the Vision, White Vision, Evil Vision. Clone Vision, Vision Original Recipe, whatever you want to call him. Also comes with two brackets for Falcon's wings. Sorry, Captain America's wings, former Falcon. Uh, anyone who's got the Spider-Man Homecoming Vulture figure, which was the last time they did a wave like this where the, the Builder figure thing was an accessory for one of the characters, can you let me know if this is the same sculpt? Because it just looks awfully specific. I don't know. Anyway, uh, The Vision. Not my fave in the wave. <laughs> Um, that's a great sentence. But who knows, maybe maybe, maybe he'll grow on me over time. What do you think of the Vision figure? Let me know down in the comments below. If you want to buy anything off my wish list, uh, an action figure that I will then review and give you a shout out for, link is in the description. No obligation to do that, obviously. But if you enjoyed this video or found it informative, chuck us a like. Maybe it'll help me get rid of these hiccups that I'm dealing with. Much love. I'll see you again tomorrow with another figure video for, well... I don't know. Maybe, maybe let's vary it up a little.